this is going to be the first in what I hope is a series of uh, videos to get started with Arduino. I know there's already probably 10,000 getting started with Arduinos out there, but hey, I can't have all original ideas. Uh, this is all the stuff that we're going to be using today. This is an Arduino 2009 model. Uh, there are newer ones out there now. This just happens to be the one that was uh, kind of the default one when I got started. Uh, I've got a bunch and I may be using some of the other ones, but I figured I'd start with this one. Um, the only real key part to the Arduino is this here, which is the main microcontroller chip. All the rest of this stuff is just support f for that, which makes it easier for uh, you to work with that chip. Um, all of the pins that uh, come out to the outside here are just directly connected to that chip. Uh, so you, if you wanted to later on, and I've done this a few times, uh, you can just take just that chip and, and this oscillator and uh, those two by themselves will do all the functions that this that this will do as apart from the USB stuff which you usually don't need for a lot of projects um, anyway you can see I don't know if this thing will focus that close but you can see that all the pins are labeled there and, and there so that's helpful this is a breadboard you're going to want to have one of these they're pretty cheap they're like five to ten dollars uh, you can uh, you can pick up all this stuff in on eBay as a kit for less than twenty dollars really uh, so it's a nice way to get started to use a breadboard if you look you see that there's all of these columns of five pins kind of see it on this side you can see that underneath that sticky bit. Um, I might be able to peel this up a bit. You can see that there are a bunch of metal strips there and those are springy on the other side. So when you press a, ch a part into here, this is an LED light emitting diode, if you poke the wires into there now this wire is connected to all five of those pins and if I poke a wire into there this wire is now connected to that pin and this is actually the start of the circuit that uh, we'll be doing today uh, I'm taking the LED, now an LED is light emitting diode uh, diodes only uh, conduct full current in one direction you'll notice that one of the leads is longer than the other the longer lead is uh, the positive lead so we'll put that in keep track of which lead is the positive one the longer one I have the red wire these are breadboarding wires these are made to work with breadboarding systems like this and they're cheap you can get a huge bundle of a few hundred of them for ten bucks uh, and you can strip wire and stuff but good grief these things are way nicer to work with because um, if you strip wire you have to use solid wire in order to work not stranded wire and solid wire is very stiff this is stranded out here and then it has a solid end on it so it works with a breadboard but it's flexible so I'd, I really recommend getting some of these okay we have the red wire hooked to the positive side here now an LED needs to be current limited uh, that means that if you don't if you just hook this straight to a power source it will overheat and burn out um, assuming that the power source is capable of delivering enough power to blow it out in order to counteract that we can use what's called a resistor. A resistor will limit the amount of current that can flow through we put it again we put it in so that it is connected there and we'll just connect it to one of the other pins now the resistor there is connected to the negative side there 
and then we'll connect this black wire to there. So now we'll have uh, now we have positive going into the LED. Negative side of the LED goes into the resistor. Other side of the resistor goes into the black wire. Now what we want to do is hook up the red wire to the pin that says 5 volts and the black wire to the pin that says ground. There's actually two ground connectors there. You can use either one of them. Um, and then if we pl apply power to by plugging in the USB then we should get this is hard to do with one hand there the LED is now on so that is basically a circuit we have power up here it's called a circuit because the power goes around in a circle a, a circuit uh, the positive goes in here goes to the LED goes through the resistor goes back to the power source so the power is going in a circle if you you have to have a closed circuit like that for uh, electronics to work in general um, okay now we're going to uh, program the Arduino to do something uh, basic which is to blink that LED okay here I have the Arduino uh, development environment. This is free. You can go to arduino.cc and download it. Um, it already comes with some basic, uh, they're called sketches. They're programs. Arduino calls them sketches. So if I go here and go into examples, basics, and blink, this pops up a new Arduino window with this program in it. And it tells you what it's going to do here. Now every Arduino program has two functions. This is a function here. A function is you tell it this is this tells the software this when you call this function when it comes back again it will it will return this information. You can return integers, you can return just about anything. In this case it's not returning anything. Uh void means this isn't this just does things it doesn't actually tell anything back to the thing that called it uh, setup is the name of the function and then the brackets just surround Th this bracket if you were to pass anything into this function it would go inside of there this function doesn't need any input it just does things and then you put the code you want in between these uh, brackets here pin mode just tells it that we want pin 13 to be an output pin. We're going to send just ones and zeros to pin 13. Setup gets run once when the Arduino starts up or when it gets reset. Uh, and then loop gets called over and over again. So it calls setup, it sets pin 13 to output, and then it starts calling loop. Loop says, okay, set pin 13 to high. That puts voltage on pin 13. Wait. 1,000 milliseconds, which is a, is one second. Then set 13 to low, and then wait 1,000 milliseconds. It leaves, but then the Arduino environment comes right straight back into loop, and it just runs this over and over again. So, if we okay, I have the Arduino plugged into the USB of my computer now, and with the sketch with the blink sketch loaded, you need to go into tools. You pick which which Arduino you have. I've got this one here, the Duemilinovi 2009 version. And then under Tools, Serial Port, COM7. If you've just plugged in the Arduino for the first, you probably only have one COM port. If you have multiple COM ports, it's probably because you already have been doing some development, in which case you're probably not watching this video. Uh, but it's probably if you do have multiple COM ports and you just plug into Arduino for the first time, uh, it'll be the highest number one because every time you plug in a new thing that has a COM port, it just uses the next available one. So COM7. Uh, now you want to poke this button here, which is upload, 
Down here in the set status, it says compiling sketch, and then it will start just there, sending it to the Arduino. You can see that, well, it, it uploaded very fast, but uh, normally those LEDs would be blinking. Now, pin 13 happens to be hooked to that one little LED that's on the board there. But we want to blink, and, it, and it's blinking, you can see that the sketch is working. But we want to blink our external LED, so to do that, we will take the lead that's making it just run constantly here, the red one, and we will attach it to pin 13 there. And now, there, our LED is blinking. So that's just the basics. Uh, this is what's known as the Hello World application. Uh, it doesn't necessarily do anything that you might want to actually do, but it proves that you have the Ar an Arduino that works, you have a development environment that works, you've got um, everything that you need to get started on what you actually do want to do. So I hope this was helpful.